Now, the lay people are definitely part of the problem in North Idaho because they didn't stay and fight all these heresies in the Novus Ordo when they happened. They instead formed schisms. This would be my parents' generation and my parents' parents' generation, which are now in their, so to speak, uh, 60s to 100 years old generation. That generation is completely mad. And they have created this war. And when you approach them or try to reason with them, it's no, I didn't. Not me. And it really is a crime in North Idaho. And this is a universal epidemic with this generation. I do, do believe this generation is the one that Christ wrote about in the scripture, which said that, you know, we will play the flute and you will not dance. We will cry and you will not cry with us sort of they just want they're just like little spoiled rat kids and they want what they want and they want it now and what they want is this church of secular humanism and the priests are right along the road and i am guessing you can't become a priest anymore unless you agree to break the ten commandments and the ten commandments as i have said before i am the lord thy god thou shalt have no other gods before me Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. And for me, that means the theater shows of these FSSP. That's the graven image. It's the golden calf in the church. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. If they're trying to silence you, they're bearing false witness against you. Your covenant with Christ, his unity, your baptismal and confirmation vows mean nothing to them. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. And if the priests aren't allowing you and the church are trying to silence you, they're coveting, in essence, a bride of Christ or a groom of Christ from entering into the church, making it uncomfortable trying to say, oh, well, you were in a schism, so therefore I'm just going to toss you away in the garbage like an aborted fetus, while they shake hands with these businessmen, schism, schismatic businessmen on the back of their bulletins advertising their ads. And you've really got to wonder, what is going on with these priests? <laughs>